Hi guys, welcome to MKids. It's wonderful to learn together and to worship God together. Let's get going. God taught me something. I enjoyed sitting with Him, listening to Him, and learning about who He is. But you know, I realized I still have so many questions. What an experience. I learned that God is strong and He isn't a pushover. He's got my back. I feel like there's so much more to know. You won't believe it. This book, the Bible, it's revolutionary. I just learned so many things about how God talks and how these words are alive and real. I feel like I've just found out how much there is to know. The more I learn, the more I realize there is so much to learn. I had to unlearn something. It was hard. I had to let go of the thought that I need to earn God's love. In the process of learning about something called grace, but I don't really get it yet. Discernment. It's even harder doing than understanding the word. Choosing what's good and right over what's bad or just not right now. I'm learning little by little. I'm glad I get to look at examples around me and of course the ultimate example in the Bible. But sometimes I just get really stuck. How do I know what I'm choosing is right? I'm just starting out on my journey as a Christian. I'm learning every day. It's like I've got this one puzzle piece, but I'm struggling to see the picture it's part of. When we come together to learn, we grow. And to teach each other, as things begin to make just a little bit more sense. And the puzzles of life begin to take form. Luke 6, verse 12 to 19. One of those days Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called the disciples to him and chose 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, Simon, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples was there and a great number of people from all, of, all over Judea, from Jerusalem and from the coastal region around Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by impure spirits were cured and the people all tried to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all. Jesus had 12 disciples. They lived with him for three whole years. They followed him everywhere that he went, listened to him and watched him interact with, it, with others. Sure, it wasn't always easy or comfortable, but living with Jesus, following him and looking at him every day helped the disciples to learn a lot of things. Remember, the disciples were mostly fishermen. They weren't the best or cleverest or the brightest students, yet Jesus knew that if they learn from him and learned together, they would be able to carry out the task. They would be eyewitnesses of all the first miracles and tell everyone about it. They would be exactly what the first church would need to get started. This small community became like a little family that watched Jesus, listened to Jesus and followed Jesus. The scripture that you just heard is about Jesus choosing these 12 men and then beginning to teach them and all the other people listening. This particular teaching is called the Sermon on the Mount because Jesus taught people on the mountainside it is famous for the wonderful advice and guidelines it gives. This is just one example of how the disciples learned from Jesus by listening to him. They also asked a lot of questions and they observed Jesus as he did miracles and spoke to people 
and taught others what this life with God looks like. The disciples also made mistakes and sometimes acted in a way that wasn't really that great. Jesus also asked them questions to help them think about things and he told parables, that's stories, to explain certain important truths. Some were easy to understand and some were very difficult truths. Sometimes they understood immediately and other times it took really hard work and a lot of time for them to get what he was saying. In this process, the disciples learned from Jesus and from each other and they grew strong in their faith and they continued to move and change the world. That's how Christianity began. You see, the wonderful thing is that each of our relationships with Jesus is so unique and special that it isn't exactly the same as anyone else's relationship with God. That means that if you bring what you've learned about Jesus and I bring what I've learned about Jesus and we put all these pieces together, we see a picture. We see more of who Jesus is and what he does in our lives. So learning together helps us understand more. It helps us to see the bigger picture. So I wonder, do you see why it is important to learn together? You could hold tightly on your piece of puzzle, onto your piece of puzzle and ignore other people's around you. And I mean, at least you've got that one piece or you can turn it around and bring your piece and see other people's pieces and how they fit together to see a bigger picture. I bet you are getting curious about this picture. Come on, let's learn together. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you so much that we can learn from you. Thank you that you teach us how to follow you and that in coming together we can learn from each other as well. 
Thank you for loving us and for calling us to work with you in your world. Amen. Bye, guys.